we were so desperate we had to pee in the wall so when we was like 10 9 8 something like that our sister had to babysit us and she was like 13 so they thought that she like was an adult and so she had to babysit us you're probably getting paid racks too to do this shit so basically our door we, we all three shared one room with like a bunk bed our door the lock was on the inside so if you locked it you would lock yourself inside the room it was the dumbest shit ever so she would fucking lock it or the lock was on the outside she would lock it and we'd be stuck in the room until our parents got home so from like the crack of dawn to dusk we were like just trapped and you know one thing about like not having access to like leaving the room is you gotta piss. So, so one thing that we came across that was a challenge was we was banging on the door like let us out like a type shit. No answer. She's over in her room busting Taylor Swift, taking Snapchats. Now we gotta get creative. I'm over here thinking outside the box, and I look to my left. I see a wall. You know, what I'm thinking. I, I, I. So I go over to that wall. I fucking carve out a little hole, and my, my brothers are watching this too because they're like, yo, we gotta piss as well. I carve the hole out, kind of like punch the drywall in. You got a hole about this big, and I just start pissing in it. Who, and we're on the second floor. Who knows where this place is going? It could be going all the way down to the first floor. It could be chilling there. But yeah, we probably used that a couple times uh, just when shit got real desperate. And um, yeah, it would also be used as like our, it was kind of like an infinite trash can. Like we would also just like throw random shit into it because like you don't know where it goes. So like it's infinite. But yeah, so we would use the piss in the wall. You're making me, man, fuck all that. Oh, God. Finally, someone did it. Oh my God. Bro, I can't express you how much I fucking hate bikers in the road. It's not even funny. And it's always it's always the retired people. They're always some retired dude. He got like the latex fit, like he in Tour de France, bro. Bro, you're 67 and you're hogging up the lane on the highway. I have beef with everyone that rides the bike in the street. One time I was driving to work and there was a dude on a fucking scooter. He was on a bird scooter taking up the fucking lane in the road. I, I, I rolled the window down and I said, yo, get the fuck out of the road. Get on the sidewalk. He said, the sidewalks for walking. I was like, shut the fuck up. And I called him a name that I'm not allowed to say on TikTok. Being around the plug a lot, we see a lot of free shit. Just like handouts. I told y'all he was passing out the molly. He was also getting like, you know, like free smoke. Infinite nick rips. He let us try some scissor one time. And then one day he pulled out some new shit. He talking about y'all, I just got my wisdom teeth took out. They gave me some numb shit. He's like, I don't really fucking want it, y'all want it? And I was like, I was like, is this, the, is this the universe blessing me? What the fuck? Of course I fucking want it. Guys, I can't even express to you. Like, I can't express it enough. I would just do anything they gave me, which sounds bad. Because it was. Because it was. But anyways, so he poured, poured me a little shot of the numb tongue, right? Had the little numb gel. We call it numb tongue. He poured a little shot of the numb tongue in like a little uh, like prescription glass. <sniffs> Switch that shit in your mouth. And then like 30 seconds later, you just numb. And we used to we used to match the blunt with the numb tongue. It was a W because like at the end of the day, and I'm thinking about like what the fuck am I gonna be able to do? Like I ain't got no money, what the fuck am I gonna be able to do? I ain't got how am I gonna like support the fiendness? I can at least know at the very least I'm getting some numb tongue. And then sophomore year on my birthday, I wasn't going to school, and the plug picked me up and he said he got a birthday present for me. And he pointed to the ashtray in the cup holder and he say, he said, Hey bro, I've been saving these roaches all week. You can smoke them. And bro, I ain't gonna lie, that was the best present I ever got. That's probably the realest thing the plug did for me. And if they wasn't giving us nothing for free, we had like fire bulk deals. It was like friends and family type shit. Every Friday, you get five hulks for $20 rather than $25. So, you know, I was always just saving up. Make sure I got my $20 before the week, and I'm good. And then one time, all I wanted was to go pick up a bar. We was with the plug and my friend. And I'm like, y'all, are we going to get the bars? And they're like, I don't know, we might. And I'm like, y'all, we gotta get the bars. And they're like, no, we're not going. And I got so pissed. And they were like, bro, you're addicted to the bars. And I, and I was like, I was like, no, I'm fucking not. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm fucking not. <laughs> Yeah, bro, you definitely addicted. Nah, but guys, I don't do this shit no more. I'm just telling these stories. This is nothing to condone. Like, yeah, go out and take some Xanax. I just like to share these stories because I think they're funny. It's 2024, boys. Should I quit the cart? Should I throw this away? Hold on, before before we start, look how ghetto this has gotten. This is straight out of Rick and Morty. If you have anything that looks like this, throw it away right now. And before you throw it away, destroy it. Because if you're big enough of a fiend, you'll grab it out of the trash. Trust me, I know. But guys, who thinks I should throw this away? I just need one person to say yes and I'll do it. Why is everyone saying no? You guys are fiends. Send it to me. Brother, these are literally the vapes you see in those TikToks of the Chinese sweatshops where they're making like a thousand vapes a second. You shouldn't consume this. All right, one more hit and then I'm gonna throw it away. <laughs> I've never had something this gross. It don't even taste like it should be consumed. All right, look. I threw it away. Bro's gonna grab it out of the trash when the stream ends? Probably. Someone gotta do a book report on Post Nut because I don't see how that shit's not linked to being bipolar. It's like, you know it's not even a W, but something in your head will just keep telling you it's a W, and you know it's not a W. You still do it. And the second you bust, dude, there's no there's no time in between. The second it happens, you're filled with the most upmost amount of disgust. It's not even funny. It's like those little like devil and an angel on your shoulder. Like the little devil dude, he'd be like, yeah, do it again, bro. Do it again. It, it feel good. And then little angel dude, he's like, no, stop. What are you doing, Colin? You said last time was the last time. And like, I know, I know angel dude is right, but for some reason I always listen to devil dude. Right when you're done, angel dude's like, I told you, bro. And I'm like, I know you did, bro. I don't know what I was doing. Now you gotta clean all this shit up. You just been on your phone beating it for two plus hours, fucking ass cheeks sweating. The part that disgusts you the most is when you gotta close out all the tabs. You're like, what the fuck was I watching? It's like you started off with Blonde Milf and you ended up with Fortnite Chun Li compilation. You just immediately just gotta start repenting, like, God, I'm so sorry.
I'm, uh, that's not who I am. But you gotta admit, sometimes it do be giving you the motivation you need. Start like writing out your whole business plan, how you're gonna retire your parents by the age of 25. You start going in your notes, writing down how you're gonna do your daily routine. You're like, I'm gonna wake up at five, go for a run, read a chapter a day, start taking cold showers. And then that lasts for like maybe a couple days and then you just get right back into the cycle. It's a fucking loop. I was so geeked I turned into a robot dinosaur. We was off the gel tab and we were just sneaking out to fuck around and the plug pick us up talking about we gotta go to some, we gotta go to some trap to meet some dude. And we pull up in the middle of the trenches, open the doors, there's fucking low lives. Nastiest bitches you've ever seen, bro. Some motherfucker in there was like, yo, watch this. He starts he starts kissing the ugliest bitch I ever seen. I was like, you think that's a fucking flex? And I don't even know what he was doing there. I was just throwing the cup bong. My phone started ringing it. And it's like it's like 12:40, so I thought I was cool to sneak out. It's my fucking mom. Like dude, when you're sneaking out and you feel your phone buzzing, like the odds of it being your mom are so high for some reason. You gotta pick up the phone, you just making up a lie on the spot about where you at. Cause like I can't tell her I'm at the trap. So I'm like, yo, we gotta get the fuck to my house. I told my mom we were like 10 minutes away. It's like a 30 minute drive. So she she, she started calling me again like 15 minutes later, like you said it was 10 minutes. I was like, chill out, there's freaking traffic. So in the back of the fucking whip, I just spawned into like a laboratory. My neck is getting like reinforced with like these metal plates, and I turned into some type of robot Godzilla looking dinosaur dude. And I start getting like, you guys know the little kaleidoscope? You know, like look through it, look hella weird. I start getting kaleidoscope vision. I, pop, I hop out of the whip, I can't see shit. I don't even know what's going on. They drop me off. I get in the fucking garage. They waiting in the fucking living room. You know you fucked up when you when your parents wait in the living room like this, and my mom starts going on this whole spiel about doing what 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 not and I, i'm doing this with my hands because she was talking crazy with her hands and if i'm gonna be frankly honest with you i don't remember what she lectured me about because when i was tripping i was tripping so hard i couldn't stop focusing on her hands it was making like some sick ass patterns and shit and then after getting lectured i was like oh my god texting the boys and i was like yo they didn't fucking catch me i'm tripping so hard my mom was throwing up like gang signs and shit and this shit looked so crazy and then i went to the bathroom and i was just like staring at my face in the bathroom and i started seeing like math equations coming out of my face like my whole face is constructed out of math equations i started like solving all the equations it was like pi divided by square root of x equals angle that was, that was a hard question i'm 5'2 260 how do i get neck tonight why do you even ask that you should not be worried about no type of neck you need to be worried about a water fast and like the gym i don't even know why you asked that question bro think i was gonna be like oh yeah here just say this line i don't know bro a lot of cards in your deck you're like that one dude at uno who has like 40 cards in his deck 5'2 260 is crazy as a man <clears throat> if you're trying to speed run the neck download like midget and midget meat at 5'2 you're like a legal midget right how tall is a midget four feet ten i mean five two as a man is crazy anyways this team lost by 94 points Coffee. bro Bro, whole team playing like Helen Keller. Everyone teammate grade a F. This is literally the one time where I'm saying I could go into this game and literally drop 30. I'm not even lying. 108 to 14. That's too disrespectful. They could have stopped at like 60 points. Why'd they go to 108? How do you only score 14 points, bro? At that point, you gotta just start chucking it from half court, doing like trick shots and shit. Paying for pussy is rock bottom. You really gotta pay a bitch just to touch you? You might as well get down and lick her feet too, bro. Bow down. The post nut after paying for pussy gotta hit different. That's gotta hit different. You'd be like, oh, you'd be like one to refund. You'd be one to refund. You hit that shit, you're like, oh, 150? That was not 150, bro. You like. Cause now, now you, now you clear of mind. You got the clear mind. You, you think it back like, what the fuck? You, you was literally possessed by a demon, bro. The eye-to-eye -eye contact you have with yourself in the mirror, it's like, it's like me versus me type shit. You be looking in the mirror like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Cause the whole time you was thinking with your dick. You was thinking with your dick, just like the Kevin Gates song. After cracking an ugly bit, the post nut be having you get your whole life together. Like, the fuck am I doing, man? I gotta retire my parents. Like, I'm going to the gym every fucking day. I'm not playing no more. I'm gonna start waking up at four in the morning, go for a run. And then that 4am alarm hit, you be like, what the fuck was I thinking? It's one thing to pay for some pussy, but if you're gonna, if you're gonna go cop a OF sub, if you ever cop the OF sub. That's a different type of down bad. You just paid to beat your meat. You just you just paid to feel like a piece of shit. You can be, you can feel like a piece of shit for free. And now you actually just paid. You know the meme where he's drawing makeup on his face and he's a clown? That's you. You dead ass searched for a bitch that you want to pay, entered all your credit card information, thought about it, clicked yes, beat your meat, and then still felt like a piece of shit after. Out of all the stupid shit I did, I can gladly say I never paid a dime to any bitch. I just seen this video. This dude gave Ruby Rose 63k just to talk to him. Bro, you're a loser. And she still wasn't even fucking with him. She exposed them on Twitter and said, look at this, look at this fucking pussy. People that purchase OnlyFans subscriptions need to be studied in a lab. The first time I had all Fs, my mom had no idea. I was in sixth grade and we were getting ready to move, right? So that whole second semester, I didn't do any homework or try in the school at all because I knew I was going to, to like a new school. So like, ain't shit matter. That, that, that was the mindset, ain't shit matter. That, that was pretty true. That was pretty true, right? And this whole time, my parents had no idea that I'm not doing it. I know my grades are fucking horrible. I had all Fs. I wouldn't, like the teachers would say something. They'd be like, oh, we're going to tell your parents. I'd be like, do it. I don't care. But my, my parents weren't that good at like the technology. So they couldn't, they never like would check my grades. They would just like get the report card at the end and like that's when you would get fucked. So this whole time, the whole semester, they think my grades are good, they think I'm like being a good kid, yada yada yada. It's the last day of school, I got my friend over, we're outside jumping on the trampoline. Since it's the last day of school, we got our report cards, right? You can see into the living room from the backyard, so I can see, and the blinds are open, so I can see my mom holding the report card. And you know, my friend's over, we're having fun, but like in the back of my mind, all I can think about is how she's gonna react when she read the report card. I'm, I can't even focus on like having fun anymore. I'm just so locked into her reading that thing, and I can, I can tell what she's saying to my dad. You can tell by her hand gestures, she's pissed. I watch her walk from the living room to the kitchen, to the back door patio rips open the door and like she says my name in like a smart tone not like not like not like mad but she's like come on come here like that that's like the bad one you know you're fucked when they say like 
in that time. My mom's pissed. My friend gotta go home. They say my friend gotta go home. I'm grounded. And some of y'all will say, why didn't they ever beat your ass? Bro, I got my ass fucked this time. Pause. I got a, I got the OG ass whooping. They give me the belt, bruh. I only got the belt like twice. Every time my dad would give me the belt, he'd always tell me he used to get like a paddle when he was a kid. He'd be like, I used to get the paddle, the belt ain't shit. <laughs> and when he would hit me with the belt, I'd start laughing. <laughs> and then they'd be pissed. <laughs> they'd be like, why do you laugh? You're supposed to be crying. So then they stopped doing the OG ass whooping and they did a suburban ass whooping, which just means they took the Xbox away. I think getting a bad haircut is like the only time you can be pissed about something and you can't get a refund. I despise getting the haircut, but it's been eight months. I'm about to go do it. I just hopped off the phone with Barbara, dude. He say, it's your lucky day. That's some confidence from the barber. If he fucks my shit up, that's actually crazy. I don't like going to the barber. I literally, I literally cut it myself. I'd rather, I'd rather be the one to fuck it up than to pay someone to fuck it up. There's two things I don't believe in: a bitch who don't lie and a barber who won't fuck my shit up. Man, I told y'all it doesn't exist. I mean, I was hoping for the video they would fuck me up, but like, at some extent, this has got to stop. Someone needs to ask Jeff Bezos. He need to make a 3D printed haircut maker because I'll be the first to try that shit. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't gonna fly no more, bro. I need, I wanna, all I wanna do is walk out of the barber shop ready to fuck. I always gotta wait like, you know, three weeks till I can fuck. I need to walk out ready to fuck. I got neck using the Riz app. Texting this bitch, right? Awesome, I'm trying to pull up type shit. You feel me? She hit me with that. Not tonight, I'm tired. I'm like, bitch, you should always want me. My boy peeped that I'm distressed. He's like, bro, why you tweaking? Like, shawty playing games. You won't let me slide. And he like, bro, download the Riz app. I'm like, motherfucker, Riz app? And he like, yes, bro, I use it all the time on the bitches. It's called plug.ai. Yo, I'm down by horrendous right now. I'll do anything for some brain. Pull up the app store. I see plug.ai. Download that shit. Load up the motherfucking Riz app. And I fucking upload a screenshot of my text with this bitch. And motherfucking AI bot starts sending me game. I told y'all I was in the trenches, bro. I'll do anything for some neck. So I'm like, fuck, I copy paste that shit. Very first message I was talking about. You're right, you're very valuable. Blah, 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 blah. You know? And she hit me back with some, aw, thank you. She said my name with hella ends. That's how you know you locked in. Very first message. I kid you not. I kid you not. I had a 10% chance to clutch. Motherfucker AI Riz app clutch the shit. I was jumping with joy. Dapped up my boy. Bitch, I'm on the way. I'll pop out a shoddy crib. She give you the neck of the century.